Hello guys, my name is Zuka Loria and today, as promised, I am teaching you uh, the opening called Scholar's Mate. So make sure to watch this video till the end. And I think it is one of the best openings for the beginners because it's the trickiest. And yeah, at first you're gonna be able to win games using it. But, there's a but. Uh, after like passing beginner stage and entering intermediate and uh, high level chess, I do not recommend you using this opening no more because it has many uh, counter openings and it, it, it includes like um, developing queen at uh, developing queen very early till other pieces and it's usually not good at high level. But not in not in this case. That is why, if you are a beginner beginner and want to win some games, I hundred percent recommend you this uh, opening. And also, you're supposed to know it to be able to defend to be able to defend against it. Yeah. So okay, the scholars made opening start with e5. So you as a black start playing with e5. So in at a beginner level. At the beginner stage, like 80% of the moves will be e5, e4, e5. And then you play knight, is a queen to h5. Now, why are you doing it? Because you're attacking this pawn and potentially checking the king. And I don't know, like so many people here who are new to chess almost everybody here they play um, pawn to they play g6 and why because they want they they want to attack the queen like they they think they should attack the queen queen forcing it to go away but actually when you play this look evaluation bar just whew, raised to 5 you just play check and fork king and the rook and here it's already and then they should defend the knight it's already winning your queen is kind of cannot escape yet but it's not like do not start panicking in, th in this position but because it's nothing you will just normally continue developing and you're gonna be able to win this i don't know as a beginner i'm just telling you you're gonna be able to win the rook in i don't know i'm just telling you that you're gonna be able to win the rook that's all from here it's on you you should be able to win from this so yeah So you're basically winning the rook uh, from four moves. You're basically winning the rook. So basically you're winning the rook in four moves. Now, uh, the scenarios might change. Like there are different things that could happen. So when you play queen to h5, there's al always a chance that your opponent is going to play knight sorry knight to c6 which is one of the best moves in this position so here you want to play bishop c4 and the idea behind it is to attack this pawn and possibly checkmate now also many players who have who do not have an experience here play knight to f6 attacking the queen but it's it's a blunder because you just blunder mate in one and you lose the game so this is what happens if they play this or i don't know something like this okay so now the thing is that black should defend it
int now so the main idea here is that black should defend this pawn so they can do it by playing queen here or queen there but um, uh, majority of people play this g6 now g6 is not a bad move it's actually a good move so like what happens when they play here or here uh so like tricks here kind of ends and you're continuing playing from your own maybe this develop the pieces uh castle make sure you do not blunder your queen and that's that's it but if they play this you're going and it's going to happen in majority of the cases you're going queen f3 and the idea is that you're continuing attacking this so now of course black can defend like this but sometimes I don't know beginners make mistakes and they play here and it's a horrible blunder because even though you're attacking the queen sorry it's made in one so yeah the, basically this is the main idea of scholars mates so e4 e5 Queen to h5, knight to c6, queen to f3, so basically e4, e5, queen to h5, if they play g6, then you just take the pawn on e5 and fork king and the rook, but if they defend it with knight c6 which is one of the best moves you play bishop c4 if they play something like knight f6 uh, that ignores this threat that ignores this threat uh, you just win but if, the, if they decide to kick you out you play queen to f3 still threatening the mate and then after maybe wondering this you win again but there's a chance that your opponent will play like this and from now Mm, yeah you should be able to mm, continue this game so here i recommend playing c3 because you shouldn't let knight come here if, if you let knight come on this square it attacks your queen and possibly you might blunder the fork so yeah here maybe black plays this and here castles castles and yeah from this position it's it's not comfortable to play as white that is why at high level of chess i do not and even intermediate level of chess when people know the streaks and they do not fall for it it's not the best option to play scholars mate but for the beginners i guarantee you you will win like five out of I, you win 9 out of 10 games when playing with beginners. So, that was basically it. Thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to subscribe and leave like. See you in the next video.